Hello and welcome to the final Neil Bakes with the Bake Off for this year. This series has now finished and Giuseppe won this year. Congratulations to him. Well done. As always, we're going to be doing the technical Belgian buns. Which I think is some sort of Chelsea bun with, with just icing and a cherry on the top. We will need today strong white flour, caster sugar, some salt, some yeast, unsalted butter, Milk, sultanas, glacé cherries, lemons, eggs, oh, and icing sugar. Should be a good one for the last in this series this year. So, the last time. Remax, get set, bake! Right, this is make the dough. Place the flour, sugar and salt into a large mixing bowl and stir until thoroughly combined. Make a line in the centre and tip the yeast in. So I need 500 grams of white flour. Just mix all this together. Make sure that the slice incorporated. Add in our seven grams of yeast into the middle. And the next step is to put the butter and milk into a saucepan with some water, heat that up. And then that's going to go into the middle of the flour mixture and mix it up and make a nice dough. So, got 40 grams of butter in here, 120 mils of milk, and 120 mils of water. Low heat until the butter's melted, and then in the mixture it goes. Now at 36 degrees, just going to pour this in. I'm just going to give it a mix up, mix all of it together. There we go, that's a very rough, rough dough. Okay, so that's roughly what it's like. I don't need any more flour, I don't think, because it's not that sticky. So we need it quite a bit, but we're just going to need it for five minutes. There we go. It's a lot nicer now. It's moved, been kneading it for about six or seven minutes. It's a lot smoother. We'll put it in an oil bowl, cover it, leave it to rise for an hour or until it's doubled. So, next up, lemon curd. So, need the finely grated zest of the lemon and the juice, um, and the sugar and butter in a heat proof bowl. Put it over a bain marie and then stir until the butter's melted and then whisk in an egg and an egg yolk. Like this. Oh, it smells really lemony. grams of caster sugar and we've got 25 grams of butter it's going in okay I'm just gonna make sure that this stir it until butter's melted we need one egg and another egg yolk Okay, so the butter's melted. I'm gonna pop 
in the eggs. Okay, so I'm going to put these same mixture in. Okay, now it's to cook it for eight to ten minutes until it's thickened up and coats the back of the spoon, and we've got a nice creamy curd. I think we need to constantly be stirring this so that we don't actually cook the eggs. Okay, it was on the heat for about six, seven minutes. It's nice and thick now. Uh, it looks nice and creamy. Um, it coated the back of a spoon. Right, I'm gonna leave this to cool. Then it's gonna go in the fridge to chill. Um, and then we're just gonna wait for our them to rise and then we'll be back. Okay, this has been proven for about an hour and a half now. It's got better in size, haven't we? So we're Lightly floured surface. Okay, we're going to roll this out into roughly the size of this board. Roll it out into a rough rectangle. And now we're going to spread this lemon can out. It's looking really good. Put a blob in each. On here, bachelor, just like spread it all around, make sure it all gets spread evenly. 150 grams of sultanas, just gonna sprinkle these all over as well. I start at the short end, furthest away from you, roll the dough towards you quite tightly until the roll is complete. And it says it wants to be cut into 12. So. We've got 11 and a half. This one is not going to be a swirl. Okay, so just need to cover them, leave them for 45 minutes, and then they're going to go in the oven. Okay, so we've left these to prove for about 45 minutes. We're just going to egg wash them now. Okay, so these want to go in an oven at 180 fan for 10 minutes and then turn it down to 160 fan for another 10 minutes to a nice golden brown. There we go. Okay, these have just come out of the oven. Um, they're not too bad. These ones here, nice and golden brown. The ones on the further, the ones on the other tray. Burnt slightly, they were on a high shelf. I'm gonna leave these to cool now, and then we're gonna decorate and have a taste. Okay, so they've cooled nicely. I've got about, I get 10 good ones, and then the two ends, one's just exploded, and one's quite small. Not too bad. Um, what I've done also is mix up the icing sugar and about three, three to four tablespoons of lemon juice. Make a lemon icing, which we're gonna drizzle over the top of here. Half a cherry on top. Each one. There we go. And let's do the rest.
Okay, we are done. Decorated them all with the icing, put cherries on top. Let's have a taste. Okay, here we go. Here's my plate of buns. Cooks well. Really, really nice taste. It's nice and chewy, but not too much. And we've got the, you get the lemon curds going through, and then like the chewy, uh, the like the chewy toffiness of the sultanas, and the lemon icing on top. It's amazing. Mmm. Like the lemon running through it. Oh, it's amazing. Belgian buns. Nailed it. That's it for this series. Okay, what was the what was my favourite my favourite one to do? I think the best looking one was that Sable tart that we made last week. That was quite good. My favourite one was probably those the, the Twix that we made a few weeks ago. Those were quite good. All in all, pretty good series. Enjoyed doing a variety of bakes. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like and subscribe button. And I will be back next year. With, my, with a new set of technical skills. Until then, bye bye.